Hi, uh, welcome to interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume using the following link. In this video, I'm going to explain to you three important Java interview questions. First question is, can we override static, static methods of a class? Please remember, we cannot override static methods because static methods belong to a class and not to individual objects and are resolved at the time of compilation not at runtime whereas override this concept is will be applicable only for r at runtime that means it is a polymorphism concept it will be applicable at runtime whereas static methods are, are resolved at the time of compilation even if we, we try to override static method we will not get a compilation error so I am giving you two answers for your interview so people will be asking interview will be asking you can you override static methods if I override what will happen so you should say we cannot override static methods even if I override I will not be getting a compilation error but there won't be any impact also so whatever you are expecting it will not happen okay so so be clear in your answers is very very important Java interpretation is string a data type in Java string is not a primitive data type in Java when when a string is created in Java it's actually an object of Java lang string class that that gets created after creation of the string object all built-in methods of string class can be used on the string object so you should it is, this is a tricky question because you might think there's a data type. No, it's not. It's not a data type. It uh, it is a class, and it has a lot of methods that you can reuse in your application. The last question, in the below example, how many string objects are created? Very important Java interview question. In the above example, two objects of string class are created. S1 and S3 are referenced to the same object. Since the Java interview and Java interview are same only two objects are created these two refers to the same because string is immutable okay internally there is a there is a string constant table is there so s1 and s2 refers to these two objects so only one java interview string is created and these two s1 and s3 refers to it so this is just to uh, ensure that whether you know string is immutable or not okay thank you for watching this video and all the best for your interview thank you